Mandy, the head of the backstoppers, former St. Louis County Police Chief Ron Battelle, tells me he's met with Bohannon's family today and presented them with a $10,000 check to help with immediate expenses, and that's just the beginning. Officer Bohannon was 29 years old. He leaves behind a wife and three children. We are told they are ages 6 to 10, his daughter, the oldest, and then his two sons. His fellow officers have been gathering at a memorial today outside St. Louis Police Officers Association headquarters in South St. Louis. Flags are at half staff there and at police headquarters downtown where black bunting drapes the entrance. Bohannon and another officer were shot when they responded to a shooting call around 6 o'clock Saturday night on Hartford, just west of Grand in South St. Louis. Police say the 43-year-old suspect, whose last known address is in Florida, ordered a family out of their home at gunpoint, barricaded himself in their home, and then shot the officers when they responded. The suspect is jailed awaiting charges. The surviving officer has been released from a hospital. St. Louis Mayor Lyda Cruzen tells me she has also met with Bohannon's family. Their day-to-day -day reality is, is very, very difficult right now. And uh, I would just say to any of your viewers, um, thank you for showing your appreciation. Those of you that can contribute to Backstoppers, Officer Bohannon, his family, his friends, uh, and all of his police family, and you know, just our heart goes out to them. And to Bomberito Automotive Sky Fox was over the scene just a short time ago. Police are telling us that the driver of the truck stopped briefly, then took off. The child was flown to St. Louis for treatment, and the past 15 minutes, we have learned that the child has died. And police have just released this picture. This is the picture of a truck that they are searching for. It is a full-size crew cab pickup truck. It is believed to be a 2007 to 2013 GMC Sierra, gray or silver in color. The truck has extensive front bumper damage. Anyone with information should contact the Madison County Sheriff's Office, and you can see the number there on your screen, 618-692-4433. And we also have this information posted on our website, fox2now.com. And looking to our other top story tonight, signs of mourning hanging over St. Louis as the nation grieves the loss of a young city police officer and father. Officer Tamaris Bohannon was shot and killed in the line of duty. Fox 2's Andy Banker reports from the offices of the Backstoppers organization tonight, which is now stepping up for his family. The head of the Backstoppers, former St. Louis County Police Chief Ron Battelle, tells me he has met with Bohannon's family today and presented them with a $10,000 check to cover immediate expenses, and that's just the beginning. Officer Tamaris Bohannon was 29. He leaves behind a wife and three children. We're told they're ages 6 to 10, his daughter, the oldest, and then his two sons. His fellow officers have been gathering at a memorial today outside the St. Louis Police Officers Association in South St. Louis. Flags are at half staff there and at police headquarters downtown where black bunting drapes the entrance. Bohannon and another officer were shot when they responded to a shooting call around 6 o'clock Saturday night on Hartford, just west of Grand in South St. Louis. Police say the 43-year-old suspect, whose last known address is in Florida, ordered a family out of their home at gunpoint, barricaded himself in the home, and then shot the officers when they responded. The suspect remains jailed. The surviving officer has been released from a hospital. St. Louis Mayor Lyda Cruzen has also met with Bohannon's family. Their day-to-day -day reality is, is very, very difficult right now. And uh, I would just say to any of your viewers, um, Thank you for showing your appreciation. Those of you that can contribute to Backstoppers, Officer Bohannon, his family, his friends, uh, and all of his police family, and you know, just our heart goes out to them and to our city. We're with them forever, I always say, and, and we try to portray that to them that, you know, we're gonna get through this together, you know, and, there's going to be bumps in the road and we're going to help you through those times and, uh, you know, emotionally and financially. The Backstoppers support the families of fallen first responders in the St. Louis area, wiping out all major debts, including things like mortgages and educational expenses for children through college. If you'd like to donate, we'll have a link with this story for you on our website, fox2now.com. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.